Good morning. We thank the Lord once again for enabling us to see a day that we had never seen before. Amen. We thank the Lord for putting it on our mind to continue to worship him in spirit and in truth. Because it is the Lord who has made us. It is the Lord who is keeping us. We're going to outline our morning worship him from hymn number 65 that says, The day is past and gone. The evening shades appear. Oh, may we all remember well the night of death draws near. The
give you all of the praises yes, Lord. that you are worthy of. Worthy. Thanking you, Father, for letting us see this day, the day that we had never seen before and we will never see again. Father, we come thanking you for waking us this morning. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, for life, yes. health, and strength. Yes. We thank you, Father, for enabling us to come out to the house of worship once again. Thank you. Father, we pray that you bless each and every one. Bless them, Father, according to their needs. Amen. Father, strengthen them where they're weak yes. and build them up where they've been torn down. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray and ask that you stop by the hospital. Mm -hmm. Test them. Stop by the nursing home because they need you also. Amen. We need you in our homes, Father. We need you in our communities. Father, bless, touch each and every one because we're going through a trying time. We know not what to do, but to to pray unto you, Father, because we find that you are the way, Amen. the truth and the light. Yes. We can never make it this journey without you, Father. Help us, Jesus, to understand that none, none of us can make this journey by ourselves. Amen. We got to lean and to depend upon you, Father, mm -hmm. because you have all power, all power. in your hands. Father, look upon us. Guide our minds and lead our hearts that you may guide us in the way that you would have us to go. Bless each and every community of this world we pray and ask you to bless Fort Valley. Yes, Lord. Bless all the communities around. Strengthen us yes. and keep us all in your care. Yes. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray and ask these blessings. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Real. Real. Wow. Ah.
that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, look down upon us with an eye of mercy. Direct our hearts, our minds. Give us to know beyond all doubts that you are still on the throne. Amen. Amen. Help us to believe your holy word without any doubt. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is our prayer that each and every one of you will believe God's word with me. The word of God according to Philippians mm -hmm. Chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Amen. Truly think about the words of that verse. I can do all things mm -hmm. through Christ which strengthens me. And from that verse, we're led to teach today about steps to spiritual Victory. Today we are using the word step or plural steps uh -huh. in the same light, in the same manner. Meaning a map, mm -hmm. meaning schematic diagrams mm -hmm. that will lead us from point A to Z. for spiritual victory. Spiritual
to victory is the defeat of every ungodly enemy that comes against you. Every ungodly, regardless uh, to its title, You, the believer, in the Lord, can have spiritual victory over every enemy. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6 supports that verse of that statement. And it says to the believer that we may boldly say the Lord is our helper. I will not fear what man can do to me. Amen. Oh, my fellow brethren in the Lord, believe God today. Believe God's word. For with God as your helper, there is nothing that you can't overcome. Amen. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. With God's help. Amen. With God on your side. Makes you a winner Amen. Amen. over the enemy. And I'm just glad about that. That gives the confidence, even in a time just like. This, the time that we are dealing with right now, whatever your condition might be, I tell you, with God's help, you do not have to stay where you are. Amen. Amen. Even if you are in the worst condition you can that you can and that one can 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 even think of. Amen. Oh God, I, I'm saying something mm -hmm. with God's help. With, God's help. with the help 
of the creator of heaven and earth with the help of the one who made everything that is made on your side, working on your behalf, I tell you, you can have spiritual victory. Amen. That's why the believer, the practicing believer, the true believer in God, amen, can shout even during the time of a pandemic. And the non-believer will be asking, what are they shouting about? Oh, hallelujah. The very same thing that used to hold you down with God's help, you were able to dance all over it. You can walk on. You can get up. You, too, can have the victory in the Lord. Amen. For spiritual victory also means to succeed spiritually over the enemy in any kind of struggle. Amen. Oh, God said, try him. Try him until you believe there's no failure, I tell you, in God. Amen. Think about what I'm saying. It is true, I said, uh, victory that is spiritual, victory that comes from the Lord is to succeed, means to succeed, to become successful in any effort that the Lord ordains. Amen. Amen. Oh, if the Lord says you can have it, you can have it. Amen. Amen. If the Lord says so, that job that you have been praying about, that you have been working for, that you have applied for, if God says that it's yours, get up. Go get it. Because it is yours. With God's help, doors that have been closed in your face, will open. God never fails. Dear heart, for there is buried deep within the soul of every true believer, a strong desire to win. Amen. Amen. 
as strong as I to win even while you're going through the believer has faith that God will finish everything that he began in you. Ah, uh, the word bears it out. You can depend upon his word even if heaven and earth passes away, his word will stand. Even if you are on your sick bed, even if others' hope is gone, but if you yet hope in the Lord, if you still know that our hope is in Jesus, and if Jesus said for you to live, if he said for you to, to overcome, if Jesus said for you to get better, you are going to get better. Even on this side, will you leave God with us? And if you truly believe God, then take the steps to spiritual victory. To. For the Lord said in answer, to the question, he says, strive to enter in at the straight gate. Mm -hmm. Oh, regardless of what you see, regardless of what it feel like, regardless to what condition you are in, strive. Mm -hmm. To enter in at the straight gate, that's doing it God's way. Amen. That's obedience to the word of God. You may not know every word in the Bible, but the words that you know, obey them and continue to study this word. Study to show yourself approved unto God, rightly dividing the word of truth, knowing that there is victory mm -hmm. in the law. Yes, victory is mine. And that's not boasting, even though the word of God again teaches that I, the believer, may boldly say uh -huh. that the Lord is my helper. Amen. Not this, that, or the other, but the Lord. I lift Jesus up. Amen. For my healing. I lift Jesus up for my brokenness. I lift Jesus. Whatever condition I'm in, I lift him up and as a result of obeying the word, lifting him up, he draws me Amen. under him. Not only me, but every person who will trust and obey him. Amen. Listen and, and watch what is happening. For the truth is, many 
believers and non-believers alike, many are seeking healing. They are seeking peace of mind. They are seeking joy and happiness. They are searching every day of their life. They are spinning trying to buy because they too are searching for blessings and gifts that can only come from having a proper relationship with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Some have a rich. They're trying to buy joy. Amen. There are others trying to legislate peace. Amen. Goodness, security. But dear heart, oh, watch it for yourself, stand it for yourself, peace, joy, security. These are spiritual blessings that can only come from God. You can't buy peace. You cannot legislate joy. Amen. The world cannot give you security. But God can. Oh, God. God can. You do not have to have a PhD or any other kind of worldly degree. But you must believe God. Amen. And if you believe him, then obey him. If you believe God, obey him. If you believe, obey. Do what he says. Stop playing games. Stop playing church and truly believe. Trust him uh, for your healing. Trust him for your deliverance. Deliverance will come uh, as you trust in the Lord. You can seek, you can search, you can spend your monies, you can wish upon the stars and do all of that other stuff, but you cannot receive God's blessings until you do it His way. Amen. Take the steps. Amen. Praise God. The steps, you say? As we said earlier, we we're talking about following uh, the pattern. For seamstress, there's a pattern. And if they follow that pattern, then whatever they are trying to achieve uh, will be victorious. We got to follow the road map. If it says go right, you can't keep turning left because you want to go left. In the word, the word of God is the road map. The word of God. In the word of God, amen, there is a formula. Formula? Steps? Formula? Uh, uh, 
procedures. There's a formula that will give us a complete spiritual victory over, watch it, the enemy and over self. Amen. Oh. Amen. You can have the victory. Yes, I said over self. Yeah. Not always, but the truth of the matter is sometimes our worst enemy is self. Amen. Can't nobody control your mind but you. Often, you must get self out of the way or bring self under control. You must yield to the word of God. It's the word obeyed that will bring us from point A to Z. Are you tired of hurting? Are you tired of playing games? By now, you ought to be fed up with playing church. Amen. Take the steps. Amen. The truth. Once we do an inventory of self, we hate to admit it, but ah, self is mean. Self is cheap. Oh, self is hateful, selfish, self full of jealousy, and the list goes on. You mean all of this in one person? Yes. And when we have a, a collective body of selfish people, all in the name of church, uh -huh. operating, yet selfish and mean and cheap, Oh, God, have mercy on us. No wonder, oh, God, the word of God is saying that we have left God. Amen. Our behavior says we have left God. Mm -hmm. The things that you uh, put first in your life is a true indication, it's self-evident that we have left God. The way you vote, we left God. No wonder why things are the way they are in the world with all of this in with all of this hate, how else can it be any other way? Amen. It spells hypocrisy. Hiding behind a mess. Oh, we can still sing. We can still say prayers. But now it's time that we pray prayers. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. It's time that we truly call. God is waiting. He said, I'm waiting to hear uh, your voice. And if you call on the Lord, I'm available. But when is the last time, church member, you call? On the Lord, from your gut, from your soul, from your heart. When is the last time have you turned the TV of life off, lay aside every way, and call on God? We need to, Amen. and we need to do it now. Because when we think of the fact that God is the answer to all of our questions, what's your question? God is the answer. What's your question? Why are you treating even your family members the way that you are? Jesus is the answer. Let us look closely. Amen. Uh, at the steps which can lead to spiritual victory. Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. We need this. In Paul's letter, amen, to the church at Ephesus, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 18 through 20, as I paraphrase, uh, says, Pray for me that I may speak boldly as I ought. Hmm. By now and in times like these, every believer, amen, really ought to speak boldly not just trembling and imagining things, but be able to speak boldly as you ought to. Amen. Ought as a Christian ought. He said, let your conversation be holy. Oh, if you slip up on some of us and hear the way we speak. And I'm not just talking about the grammar. But I'm talking about the words that we use. That would not sound like a missionary. Amen. Oh, you wouldn't believe that that was coming from a preacher. For the word of God is that if you really want spiritual victory in your life, your compensation must be holy. You ought to speak, underline it, as I ought. I ought to speak truth. It ought, you ought to let it be true. Whatever the subject matter is, let your conversation be holy. Check it out. Study it. Make certain that you're speaking truth. Please note with me these two simple words I owe. And I don't have to dwell on it. You know for yourself that a child of God ought. 
You know how we ought to speak. You know how we ought to live. You didn't just learn it. You've known it for years Amen. what you ought be doing and what you ought not be doing. Amen. But here is the first step. Knowing what we ought to do and at the same time it teaches what we ought not. Study the word of God and then obey the word. That is, if you really want spiritual victory in your life, learn what you ought to do and what you ought not to do. Learn what you ought to say as a believer, uh, obeying these, uh, this step will bring spiritual victory in your life. What does it mean? Amen. Uh, for one, to stay away from wrong living. As we haste uh, to the close, it is not the finish, it is not the end, but I know we must close. We find even the second step to spiritual victory in Paul's letter to the church at Philippi. In the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, he says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Now, whatever uh, have enslaved you, this word says, I can do all things. And if you really get to the bottom of that one word, then you too will come to know that there is no excuse for low down living. Try to come up with one. What kind of excuse can a believer come up with when the word of God says, I can do all things through Christ? That means following the word of Christ, obeying the Lord. Uh, 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 not some of the time, but every time. Not just on Sunday, but you got to live holy. You got to practice this word every day. Number one, I ought to do it. Mm -hmm. And number two, no excuse call. The word says, I can. What can I do with God helping me? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus nailed every excuse to the cross. And he is saying to you, I'll get under your situation with you and help you. Therefore, with God's help, I can do all things through Christ Amen. which strengthens me. The hymn writer says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from with what cometh my help, my help. Oh, 
glory. Somebody asked, how did you do it? My help cometh from the law. Oh God, I feel him right now in this house. Glory be to God. Uh, your help is here now. But you got to believe. You got to come on up out of uh, the hog pen and believe God. How much can God do? Amen. With him helping you, with him on your side, you too can declare that my help Satan, you can't have my life anymore. You cannot have my family any longer because my help, you cannot have my sustenance anymore. Faith is the sustenance. Ah, uh, a thing's hope for whatever you hope. I said, if you can believe it, it is possible for you to receive it. I, I, I just want to tell you, with God's help, nothing can hold you down i hold you back. Yes, young people, I said nothing, nothing can hold you. Nothing. May I ask you a personal question? I can't make you give an answer, but let me let me ask you just a, a personal. Are you bound today by some bad habit? I come to tell you that you no longer have to be bound. Amen. Oh God, amen. Are you wrestling with some demonic a uh, power that is really beating up on you. Go ahead and admit as Paul did, even when you try to do good, evil is, uh, is present right now, still beating on you. Oh, you can have victory today. Yes, you can. You can have victory. Satan don't want you to hear it, but whatever you're doing, stop right now and, and, and lean your ear toward whatever device you are listening on and listening with, with God's help. You can overcome Every demonic folk, yes you can. Some say you can't, but the word says that you can. Do you need some joy in your life? Can you use a little peace from the Lord? Jesus is still the answer to every problem. The prodigal son uh, can be read about in Luke Gospel chapter 15 and in the area of verse 18. The prodigal son who had left home and who had uh, kind of demanded of his father to give him 
the potion that follows to him and he received of his father uh, his uh, monies and whatever and, 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 and he went off into a far country and, 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 and please restudy it and, and discover that uh, a far country can be right there in your living room. Amen. Amen. A far country could be in your bedroom, in your own home, on your street. You can be in the church house in a far country. Because anywhere you are, if you are not in the Lord, you are in a far country, even with a preacher's robe on. Amen. Amen. Far country, messed up. The joy that you once had is gone. Far country. Amen. But this young man, wild in the hog pen, and I tell you, that's the time to do take an inventory of your own life if you're going to look at self to discover self-worth. I plead with you not to do that inventory while you're up. But wait until you get broke. Wait until you have a need and and, and don't know how it is going to be fulfilled. I don't know if you've ever been there. I don't know if you've ever been hungry with a bill due with nothing to pay it with. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but just in case, <clears throat> there is a God who is rich and who is willing to bless you. This young man, while in uh, the pig pen, the Bible said, came to himself. Coming to himself, he remembered that while at home and back at home, my father, has plenty. In my father's house, there is bread to spare. Amen. And, and here I am, oh God, I'm tempted to eat with the hogs. But he came to himself and, and in that Time he gave us our third step when he says, I will arrive and go back home. I will. We gave you one and two, one out to do better, two I can do. And three, I will. I know everyone is not going to hear me, but Lord, if one hears me and decide that I will believe God. Amen. Oh, believe and repent. Believe I will arrive and go and uh, finally we have to come back to this word again, amen, uh, Paul said, amen, in the word. Second Timothy 4 and 7, he said, I have fought a, a good fight. I finished my course. 
I kept the faith. I'm believing or not. There are witness around us. There are witness all over our fair city. I don't know why they are quiet about it. But there are believers who have been down, but now they are up because they heard the word and they believed the word and they made the decision that I ought to do better. Amen. Amen. And making that decision that I ought to do better, they were discovered by the word that I can. All of the blessings that God has blessed me with, I can do better than what I'm doing. And then decided that I will. And because they decided and obeyed, now they can say, I have fought a good fight. I'm not rushing, but if the law called me now, I can make it in. I really can. Paul said, for you, it would be gain if I stay here, because if I stay here longer, I'm going to tell you what thus says the Lord. Amen. 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 But if the Lord should call me now, it's well with my soul. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Look at your true condition and believe the word. I have no reason to lie to you. The word says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Father God, here we are in the strong and in the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your steps. I will obey. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, we give honor a Amen. Amen. Glory, glory.